What's up, guys? Bird from BirdKnowsBest.com reviewing the Game Golf digital tracking system. This was crowdfunded through Indiegogo.com. I signed up early to be a beta tester, so by the time you're seeing this review, um, it should be available to everyone else. And if you're watching this, this will give you a step by step guide on how to set up the system, use it, offload the information, enter your round all of that. For those of you who don't know what it is, this is a wireless tracking system using this device here that connects to your belt along with some circle NFC GPS tags and before each shot you just take this tag, bump it into this box, it records it, go to your next shot, hit your next club, bump it and repeat and then after the round it will give you a shot link overview of your round. It'll tell you how far you hit it, which direction, like kind of like they do on TV. Um, and it keeps track of putts, screens, and regulation, just a bunch of stuff. And you can play with your friends, and if you're planning to play the same course, you can see how they've done as well. Uh, Graham McDowell and Lee Westwood are also sponsoring this, so if you play a course that they've played, you can see where you hit it in regulation to them. So it's a cool system. I'm going to give you guys a rundown right now. I like the potential this system have, especially for all the golf nerds out there that want to keep track of all of their information. This device, in theory, should be able to do that. Um, what you get in the box, you get the GYG, which is the Game Your Golf device, which goes on your belt. You get 18 smart tags. This is missing my 8-iron because it is on my 8-iron. You get a warranty information, a bag to keep your GYG in, and a charging cable to connect um, your GYG to your computer and also offload your data. Also of note, they used a micro USB, so thumbs up for that. Uh, this you won't need warranty. There is no instructions. All the instructions are done online. The tags are labeled on the top so you know which one to put your club in. D for driver, three wood, hybrid. Um, all of the irons, the wedges are labeled L wedge, sand wedge, etc. And then there's four extra ones that are shapes. Before you start putting tags in your clubs or anything else, you need to go to GameYourGame.com backslash start. Once you get to the GameYourGame.com start page, there's four easy steps that you can follow to get your account set up. The first thing you need to do is enter your basic information and hit create account or you can choose to register with Facebook. The next screen is an overview of the next steps you need to complete. You first need to install the red tags into the corresponding clubs, then label those tags on this website and then set up your profile. Each tag has a half inch plastic screw on the bottom of it and you take the screw and put it in the end of the club and screw it down until it's flush. It wasn't the easiest thing to screw this in. You want to make sure you put it in flush all the way as close to that grip as you can make it, but you just want to make sure you have the right tag with the right club. After you've got all the tags in your clubs, you come to the setup club screen. And this is where you edit the clubs. You don't have to enter this information. I chose to, but it is optional. You got your driver. Now I use a four wood, but this has a three wood tag. So you simply click edit, and I've already done this. Went wood, go to four wood. I have a Tour Exotic XCG3. Click save. And then you can go on and do the rest of your clubs. You are given four extras the, for the 18 total tags, the star, diamond, triangle, and circle. If you don't want to use them, you have to drag them over to the black dot. It has to be on the black dot into the unused tag side. But let's say I have an extra hybrid and I want to make the circle my extra hybrid. I simply go into the circle, click edit, click hybrid, select type. Let's say it's a three hybrid. I'm going to select tailor-made and I'm able to choose the manufacturer and the club that I want and then click save and then when you're done entering all of your clubs information you simply simply click finish club setup on the edit profile screen you can enter a picture that you want to use for the program some basic information your handicap place of resident home course then click finish and go to game you see this screen which says welcome to game now what so congratulations you successfully registered your product the next thing you need to do is go on the left side here and install the game golf software. After the program has successfully installed, it will automatically open. You can see in the top left here, that it has also created a shortcut on the desktop. Simply enter your username and password and click go and it will say welcome device not connected. So now you need to connect your GYG to your computer. Open up the side and you'll see the micro USB port. Put that in there and then if you just simply connect it into your computer You'll see it light up, and it is red, so you know it is charging. The first time you plug your device into your computer, it might take a couple minutes for the drivers to install, so give it a couple minutes. And then once you're connected, it'll say welcome, and it will say connected. And then here it has your battery life of your unit. 
you want to make sure that it's at 100%, especially the full, first time before you go out, and it should take around two and a half to three hours to charge with your computer. Once that's at 100%, you can disconnect it and get ready to head to the course. All right, when you get to the course, you want to make sure to turn it on a couple minutes before your round because it's going to take a while to acquire the satellites. Just hold the game button, it'll vibrate, and the white light means that the device is ready, and then it should blink red. That means it's looking for the GPS, and you heard it beep, and now your device is good to go. Okay, to install the uh, device, all you do is there's a little belt clip on the back. Just pop this on your belt, and you're good to go. Just take your club, touch it to the bottom. It beeps, vibrates. The beep's not very loud, and then there's a green light. That's how you know you successfully tag. And then you've got 60 seconds to hit your shot. And then you just continue to do that for every shot, and uh, we'll enter the round after this. And then when you're done with your round, you just hold the game button again, and it will turn off. Once you have your device connected, you may have to update your device. It may tell you that. Just update it, and then continue, and you click Get Your Rounds. It's going to build the rounds. It may take a couple minutes to prepare your rounds, depending on how many rounds you have on your device. Once your rounds have completed, just click on View to view each round. I'm going to review the round that you saw the footage from, so I'm going to click Review Round. So my first hole was a par 4, I hit a little bunt driver, hit an 8-iron, a lob wedge, and one putt. I can see I made one, par 4, four shots, fairway, no green, one putts, I'm done. I click Next Hole, and then you just simply go on until you finished your round. And that's why when, I, when you're keeping score with your scorecard, I like to make sure to keep track of fairways and putts especially. So that way you know when you're editing it, you've put everything in correctly. So you can see I've got my nine holes, everything's done, one over, I've won everything, I'm gonna click sign round. Sign card, and once you click sign card, it's official and cannot be changed. So here's the rounds that I've put in the system so far. I can go into any of these rounds um, and see the stats for that round. I was eight over on this day, 38% fairways, 50% greens, 22% scrambling, and then I can go over hole by hole and it will tell me each shot what club I hit. All right, here's a part five where I made birdie on, but let's just say, for example, my first shot went behind a bush and I had to take an unplayable. There's not a tag for a penalty, so what you would do is your second shot, I could add a penalty, you click add penalty of one stroke, and now my score will go from over here from one under to even. So I've just added a penalty right here and then hit my third shot up on the green. Um, it's pretty easy to do to edit a shot. Again, you just make sure you keep track of it on your scorecard so when you're editing your round, you know where to put that penalty shot in. Click up top on dashboard, you can see your overall stats. So there's my overall score, putts, average driving distance, and my average greens and regulation. And then on the left hand side here, you can, uh, it's kind of like a news feed of what's going on. Another thing you can do is you can click on your name up here and you can go into your golf bag if you do change clubs and you want to edit your clubs that you have, if you want to get some new irons or use any of your other tags. You can also click overneath here, over here and click on settings and you can change your file, your image and all of your personal information, change your notification settings. And the best part is you click on my profile and it gives you stats, your putts per hole, greens, all that good stuff, and then your woods. If you click on my woods, see my average driving distance is 285, with 201 being the shortest, 349 being the longest, and it will go on down hybrids, irons. You'll see my four iron, my average is 179, my five iron is 190, which leads me to believe I hit my five iron a little better. But that's another great feature, and that's available for all of your clubs. That's a little review and tutorial on the Game Golf system. I think it's going to be around 250 bucks when it's released. I'll put a link in the description below where it's, avail where it's available for sale at. Um, just a couple things I want to remind you. You're going to forget to tag the unit when you are marking the club. So make sure you keep an accurate score on your scorecard so you know how many putts and fairways and things like that you hit. And if you had to add a penalty later. Also, make sure you enter the round as soon as you can because so that information's fresh in your mind. It's gonna take you a little while to enter the round to begin with when you get used to the software, but that will go faster with time. So the sooner you can edit it, the better. The other thing, you know, it's just got a lot of great features. Keeps track of your putts, fairways, total score, your how far you hit each club. It's great for the golf geeks out there and it should help your game with the knowledge that this system provides. 
I use it all the time. Like I said, the belt clip might be a little different when you guys get it, but Game Golf has been great listening to our feedback and making the system as good as it possibly can be. So I highly suggest it. It's the Game Golf system. If you like this video, be sure to check out my others, subscribe to my channel, and if you got any questions on this device, um, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do the best I can to answer them. So, until next time, kaka.